Welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. In today's video, we'll be talking about how we can utilize multi-body design to our advantage. You've all probably noticed an option in your boss extrudes called Merge Result. The name is pretty self-explanatory. It's essentially merging uh, anti any solid bodies that come into contact with each other. Now you may ask, why would I want them to not join to each other when they're interfering? Well, in some design cases, we only want certain cuts or uh, features to affect on that particular solid body. And by separating these solid bodies, we can, uh, we can apply that cut only on that section. So let's, let's take this example here. I've got three solid bodies in total. I've got a cylindrical half circle and this plate over here. And I would like to apply a cut of this section through this plate so the outside are taken out. Let's try and do this. If all our solids are merged together, when I go on and try and do this cut, it's going to cut out my cylinder as well. And that's not what we want. Whereas if we keep these as separate solid bodies, let's see what will happen. In my feature scope, I can then select only this plate to apply this cut onto. If these bodies were all merged together, this option is not available. And we obtain our desired cut. Another example can be seen in uh, under shelling. So when I apply a shell on this part from the bottom, If we take a look at the cross section, the inside I cut through as well, and that is because all these bodies are merged together and it's treated as one solid body, therefore it creates a shell around all the way around the cylinder as well. Simply go to the corresponding uh, solid bodies, Make them so that there's different solid, uh, separate solid bodies. And let's take a look. Because we've isolated these bodies from the bottom plate, which is where we only want the shell to occur, these are kept in solid states, and this is uh, shelled. And of course, later on, we can just create use combine and add all of them together uh, to maintain them as one solid body. This is one of the few examples that we go through in our uh, advanced part modeling training courses. Have a look in our website and see if you're interested. Thank you for watching another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider.